where would you start with that one? Ah, Mr. Oliver says it depends. Good man, Steve-O. All right, so Lauren says, get more reviews. Get more reviews. And I completely agree with that. I believe, based on my own research, that the minimum number of reviews you should have for your product is five. I believe that is the absolute bare minimum. It is usually very difficult, all things being equal, to make sales when you don't have many reviews. It just is on Amazon. So uh, you ought to make that a priority to get yourself some reviews. Good work, Lauren. Uh, pictures, says the folks. Pix says Athena, new Pix says Tina. So completely agree with Athena and Tina here. Uh, your pictures, as we've seen already, do a massive amount of the heavy lifting on Amazon. And this is just on the Amazon uh, website that shows when you are on a PC. If we change this over to what it actually looks like, I'm going to go into what's called responsive browser mode. I'm just going to refresh that. If we actually change it over, look how it changes now. This is what this, this particular image looks like on a phone which, by the way, 51% of people on Amazon shop on their phone. So it's all image on a phone. And so it's clear that your images are massively important and you are doing yourself a disservice by not having good images there, Cass. So you've got to get that right. That is a must. Let's see if we can go back to our ordinary thing and just click on that. What else we got? Niraj says PPC. Now, completely agree with Niraj here. PPC is going to be a really, really good way for you to get sales on Amazon. Really, really good way for you to do that, okay? But just a reminder, you do not want to do any paid advertising until your listing is right. Reviews, images, text, get all that right first. And then as Niraj says, once you've, once, once you've done all that, first thing to do is PPC. Completely agree. Uh, what else we've got in here? Fix images, fix your pictures, fix your pictures. Social media, title is good. All right, so uh, now we're talking about the actual copy that's on your product. So um, you've got to make sure that's good. What your, what your copy actually says, we can't actually look if we're on Japan. So if we go back onto our drone one, you've got to make sure that your copy is good. That's this stuff here. We've already seen how important Amazon believes that is. Assigning it 25% of the available real estate in the SERPs, for instance. So is that, and there's this as well. So you've got to make sure that's good. Now you can argue, and I think argue quite well, that the product description is not as important. However, it is important for SEO. And SEO is the next thing we're going to talk about as well. Very, very important. So, uh, 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 uh. so next thing to talk about is SEO. How does your product rank? This, this is something I've talked about before, but it's worth talking about again. What I think is a unbelievably good thing to do is this. Take your hero image. That's this image, image right here. Take your hero image and show your hero image to 10 people who do not know much about Amazon and do not know what it is you're selling. And say to them, what do you think this is? Because they will tell you what they believe your product is. And nine times out of 10, they will say much, much different things to what you think it is, to what you think it is. And those things that these 10 people say, they are the keywords you ought to be ranking your product for. Not the thing that you think it is, but the thing your potential customers think it is. I've seen this happen. I've had it happen myself. We get so entwined so in love with our products 
that it's difficult to uh, see them. It's like when you write something, it's difficult to spot your own typos. Difficult to see the, the forest for the trees. And so um, it's a really good idea to do that, to find out what other people would type in if they were looking for your product. Because it doesn't matter what you think it is, it matters what your customers think it is. I would definitely do that. You, Everybody on this call should do that. And that's a really cool thing to do. Certainly something I do now because I've discovered to my peril that uh, oftentimes they say things I've never ever thought about. Good way to find new PPC words too. Anything else I want to say about this? Not really. The only other thing I would say as well is uh, once you figure out what you want your product to rank for, what search term you want the product to rank for, before you get your reviewers, uh, instruct your reviewers to do what's called search find by based on the keyword that you want to rank for and that will definitely help you uh, get your product risen through the SEO for the search engine results page and get you into um, a better SEO position. That will definitely help, so definitely do that. If you don't know what Search Find Buy is, it's basically where you say to five people who are going to buy your product and review your product, hey, go and buy my product and this is what I want you to do. I want you to go to Amazon.com. I want you to type in Kofun Drone Wi-Fi. Let's suppose that's the keyword they're trying to trying to rank for. I don't know what it is for them. Type that in and then I want you to scroll down until you find my product. Look how many sponsored products there are there. Unbelievable. Until you find my product and then when you find my product, you see it doesn't even rank. It's not even indexed. Holy crap. It's not even indexed for their brand name, that product. So that tells you what a disaster that is. Once they find a product, come to your product and then they buy the product. Okay, that's search find buy. That's a really good thing to do. And then as Niraj says, Amazon PPC is also good for that too. All right, great work guys. Some really good help there. So thanks for that. Cass, I hope that helps you out. And to be honest with you, that fixes 95% of the problems when it comes to not making sales on Amazon can be fixed by that. 95% of them can be fixed by that. Hey, thanks so much for watching that video and I hope that you got some massive value from it. Before you go, do you live in Australia? If you do, this is for you. Would you like to learn how to sell things on Amazon here in Australia? Would you like to know what sells really, really well and what sells for the maximum amount of profit? Would you like to know where you can source those products from, whether that be in China or here in Australia and how to source them so you pay bottom, bottom dollar and get maximum value for what you're doing. If you do, please subscribe to my channel and like this video and you'll learn that and much, much more. It's the exact same information that people like Jeff from New South Wales I've used to make $45,000 a month on Amazon that Sue, who's from the sunny coast, has used to purchase herself a brand spankly BMW every single year as a result of her e-commerce business. And the lovely Kate from Barrel in New South Wales has used to make $32,000 a year on, uh, sorry, a month, not a year, a month on Amazon. And indeed, Anthony, who makes $15,000 a month on Amazon, selling, as he puts it, odds and sods. If you'd like to learn the exact same inf information that they use to maximize their profits for their Amazon businesses, subscribe to this video, like my channel, and um, post below if you want me to teach you something. Okay, I'm out of here. Speak to you soon. Bye. Subscribe. Subscribe. Do it now.